legislative body. We all, the total Indian tribes in the state of California received less than 200,000 acres. So now we have, um, quote, established um, groups, tribes, whatever, in Lake County. Uh, what, what do you have other than... There are seven in Lake there's County. There are seven in Lake County. Yes. I think there's 11, seven or 11 here in Mendocino right. County. Yeah. And how many did you say were in Sonoma? I think there's five in Sonoma. Okay, yeah. so they all have some sort of tribal governments now elected by the members, and right. apparently that's where the issues lie right. uh, today. So I would think, whether it be the Secretary of the Interior or your local congressman who you say aren't getting up and doing right. anything, right. that they're the people who are going to have to put pressure on you. Otherwise, you've got a tribal court. Right. You can go through all the process of that, but that doesn't mean that the uh, uh, powers to be, uh, right. the council, will accept it. Yes, very true. So, very true. so you kind of. But see, what you what the problem though, see, is what our people don't realize is once we gave up our traditional form of government and accepted this call, like I, I can go get any tribe in these counties and get their constitution is exact same thing as mine, except the name is different. Yeah. Okay. And what they did, if you look at it, they didn't give us sovereignty. They made us like the Elks Club, you know. Democracy never worked in our tribe. We had lifetime leaders, and and see that's what happened to us. They broke us apart. So that's why it's easy to form these little political groups. And what they most of them do is because the attorneys are advising them, they say pass a resolution, pay your tribe the money, and giving you authority to disenroll. Now a lot of those members are saying, I didn't disenroll you guys. I didn't. Have, they're saying, well, you passed the resolution. Right. See. Well, how often is a tribal government elected each year? Are they uh, for most three well, years, depends. four years? Some of them change it. Like for example, ours is every two years. Okay. Some have four. There are even tribal governments that have one year. Well, I also understood that uh, in the early days where the casinos first started, there was a lot of revenue. Now that there's so many casinos, the revenue has dropped, and, and they aren't putting out uh, uh, monies to the tribal members like they used to. But still the issue is the electing of young right, right. and maybe older uh, members who have some sort of bad feelings of right. prior stuff. Well, to Again, me, the bad feelings that you say, to me, is our history. Yeah. See, if we don't know our history, like to me, man without knowledge of his culture and history is like a tree without roots. I mean, that's what we have. We have people who just exist. They don't care about anything but their self. Yeah. You know, their egos. And, and see, that's what happens. And it happens in our community as well. So what happens is, see, to me, I call these tribal chairmen paper leaders. They're paper chiefs. They were never, most of them, you go to them, they yeah. don't even know their own culture. Yeah. Many of them are mixed blood Indians who didn't even claim to be Indian until Indian gaming came out. Now all of a sudden they're, they're these diehard cultural people. But that's what they're telling people. So you know? again, uh, I understand your concerns in the history. Thank you for sharing that. But, okay. but what, what troubles me is what avenues you have from here. Right. Uh, this demonstration, the gathering of the tribe people is going to happen for the next three days or okay. so. Uh, what do you hope comes out of that other than maybe well, getting support? What we're going to do is we're going to appeal to President Obama. Uh -huh. Okay. And not only that, we're going to demonstrate against the uh, state of California because Governor Brown and the state attorney general. In Gen Sacramento or where? Yes. Oh, okay. and, and the Governor Brown and the attorney general should be also getting involved involved in this, okay? And then, at the same time, the National Indian Gaming Commission, which is, and the the one, the California, CNIGA, we're going to demonstrate there, too. Well, I heard the BIA, uh, and BIA basically wants the tribes to resolve their issues, but now you're at an impasse where, rather, you've gone through the appeal process and the tribe, what tribal members did vote, mm -hmm. uh, uh, voted for ouster, yeah. there still needs to be some sort of approval of that whole mm -hmm. process that began. Yeah. And yeah. again, I think you're stuck back with the Secretary of the Interior, right. which right. has more meat than yes. even Obama. Yeah, matter of fact, Secretary uh, 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 Jewell uh, has too much conflicts of interest. She, rents, she represents a lot of private groups, like on, uh, you know, deal, dealing with our coast. Matter of fact, that's where she got all 
how, how she got appointed is she made sure no native people had a right to the ocean and the rivers on the mm -hmm. east coast. Uh, uh, what is that group called? Uh, you might know them. The Coastal Commission. Coastal Commission, but there's a group that they created oh, okay. uh, out of that Coastal Commission. They're all private entrepreneurs seeking their business and you know not worrying about tribal uh, tradition of gathering. So again, so that's the biggest problem, like you're saying. Okay, right now, the first excuse we get from most of our officials, oh, there's a war going on, you know, and that's so important, saving our lives is and protecting our rights. Well, we're being attacked in our own country, in our own towns, you know. So, to me, this is something, even during the Civil War, you had the Home Guard. We were going, racist people going around killing families and taking their lands. Yeah. See, this is the same era we're talking about. Well, I, I think with the... Uh, nature of uh, the Republican politics is right. definitely coloring the country in general dark. And I would think uh, you and your fellow uh, members of whatever tribe may right. be need to, you know, call, call, get together right. and like you say, do your demonstration, bring attention to the issues and force rather be the secretary right. or, now, here, here's or whoever. A, here, uh, here's an example of what I would be calling for, for example. A congressional hearing on disenroll, disenroll. Okay, that's what I'm going to ask President Obama to implement. And I'm going to get it, actually try to get the tribe and even a petition from the public to say we need to have this because then you can have yeah. all the testimonies yeah. and see what yeah. the manipulation that's been going on by these attorneys and by these political leaders. And uh, well, that's again, the only I think way. Thompson and your local congressmen are the ones that are going to help uh, champion right. that for you. Right. So it's getting them to wake up to yeah. your particular well, unfortunately, issues. Uh, you know, the, the senators we have now are more interested in their wine, you know, <laughs> endeavors and, uh, you know, yeah, well. Thompson's the wine czar. That's all he cares about. You know, he, he even bought land in Lake County. Yeah. He bought a wine ranch, uh, you know, his own wine over there. You know, so but they don't he, care about it. He's that. still the guy to shake his tree and get him to pay attention because right. otherwise there's nobody else that yes. you could focus in. Uh, right. the, the senator, the congressman from that area, even the board of supervisors, right. even if they don't pay attention, being yes. able to bring it forward to them and getting their denial becomes part of the process. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. See, and that's, see, that's what most of our tribal people haven't been used to doing, you know, oh, okay. and... and yeah. So that's why a lot of times it takes the people who have been involved. A good example, uh, at age 16, I went to Alcatraz. I wanted to know what was going on. You know, I started to understand our issues. Well, and I came the home. was going on? Yeah, oh, I, okay. I, I came home and basically, because here, a good example, if you talk about all our stories, they kept trying to terminate our tribes up to the 1970s. My family was relocated to Oakland, California in 1959. And, and then the other family, who's the main culprits, my first cousins, they're Browns as well, were sent to Los Angeles. Huh? Okay. They got, never came home, got acculturated, whereas we could come home, spend the weekends, the summers, and we never let our tradition no. go. See, that's the big difference. People don't understand that. I have been to uh, Pinoleville's uh, Pomo gathering, mm -hmm. and they've had tribes from uh, the coast and even uh, Redwood Valley. Colorado Valley has uh -huh. had uh, celebrations, and it seems like they're still uh, perpetuating some sort of history of the tribe. Right. I think one of the biggest issues is the language itself not being passed on as fluid as maybe right. maybe they, they would like them mm -hmm. to be. Um, yeah, matter, matter of fact, a lot of our tribes have are reviving their language. Matter of fact, Bob Gary is one of our younger men who went in and he's an apprentice now. He's reteaching our language in our oh, okay. community. Okay. See? And and because we still have our songs, our ceremonies yeah. as well. See, so it's easier for us to, to take on that responsibility. I, I would think within the next two days, if you were able to, is we need the community. We're going to broadcast this on local okay. television. Okay. Um, but the community uh, needs to continually be assured of cultural activities, the drumming, right. Right. the dancing, and, and right. so forth. So I would hope within the next couple of days yeah. we're able to generate some yeah. of that. But I also think what I hear mm -hmm. is that because of this disenrollment, other tribal members are kind of spooked about standing up because they're afraid the they're same next. thing's going to happen to them. Yes, yes. Matter of fact, so they actually have people going around and saying who's involved 
and taking uh, it back to their tribal councils. So there, there are infiltrators out okay. there, and there are probably some here today. And we hope they're here today. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, irregardless <laughs> whether they're please. here today or not, you need to do something. We're going to have your attention, please. Um, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming and helping us, supporting us in our struggle. Not just our struggle, but all the uh, all the stuff that's going on through Indian country today. We appreciate your help. Um, we're going to get moving shortly. We're going to head down Main Street. I'm okay. We're going to head down Main Street, make our way down there. Obviously, it's a peaceful protest. Um, we're gonna head down Main Street, then go to the courthouse, march around the courthouse for a while, then make our way somewhere else from there. Um, up to, to Les Marson's office from there. Les Marson, who you don't know, is the attorney who's representing the other um, side of the tribe. We'll be leaving in like five minutes. Obviously, we're always waiting for Indians, and we're on Indian time, so it'll give about 10 more minutes before we head out. <laughs> um, in this cooler is some cold water. Grab yourself a water for the walk. It's supposed to get hot today. Again, we thank you so much for your participation, your help with us. Bathrooms. There's in bathrooms the, where? In the um, conference center. In the conference center. In the conference center. And then over here. So there's a conference center. Here. Here. And there's bathrooms over here as well. Okay, again, thank you so much. Again, my name is David Brown. I'm one of the tribal members who are being disenrolled, as are several people here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to come ask me. We have a lot of people who are willing to talk, participate. Uh, which tribe will you disenroll from? The Elam Indian College. Elam Pomo. Elam Pomo. Pomo. We're in the process. We're not being disenrolled. We're in the process of being disenrolled. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll be ready in about 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Yeah. We'll circle up. Take a shoe off. He has one under it. Uh, He's being a kid. Well, yeah, there's always that. Everybody get in a circle here? Okay, we're gonna get in a circle right here, please. Come on over. Jordan, let's come over here. Let's get in a circle. All right, everybody, if we can get a circle here together, let's hold hands. Everybody join hands. Make our way. Come on over, guys. Everybody get in here. Robert. <laughs> Robert, get get okay. uh, Robert's going to lead us in a prayer here. Come on, Robert. Okay, guys, can we take your, take your hats off? Can we take your hats off? Bow your heads. Make the get in here. Uh, first, I just wanted to let everybody know that we're thankful to um, have all you people here helping us today with this, with this fight. Um, you know, one of the things um, that this thing is happening, in not just, you know, here in California, all across the country. And uh, we've got to understand and know that, you know, this is a plague that you know, we have to knock out. So, I um, just wanted to say a couple words, you know, to for our, you know, our people and, and um, people here that, you know, taking their time to come with us today and, 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 and do this with us and support us. Um, usually, you know, we pray in the language, but, you know, I'm going to pray in, in, um, in, in, in English so everybody understands, you know, what, what's being said and, and why, we're, why we're doing this. So, um, I'll get started. Um, oh, oh, I ask you, you know, to watch over us, watch over these people. You know, protect them from all the, the bad and to help them through and to carry the story, to carry this, this, uh, to carry this, this story from one place to another, to open hearts and open minds, um, open ears to what's going on and what's happening. That we take it upon our shoulders, that um, we ask you not to make it too heavy for us to continue to make this uh, journey and, and, and follow this journey all the way to the end. To make sure that, you know, that we teach our younger ones and we teach the ones that are coming up that, you know, to deal with these issues, to deal with these issues in a good way. You know, not to, for anyone to get hurt. We have our elders here today to make sure that, you know, that they're protected, to watch over them, you know, to make sure that, you know, they're, they're healthy and that they're, everything that they need to do while they're here, that they're able to do. You give them the ability to do that. 
to follow their hearts, to follow each other through this time. You know, so these people that have black hearts, that you open their hearts up to be able to put color, to put compassion, to put care back into those hearts and let them understand that we're, we're a people. We're a people that always been in our land. We've always been there. You know, with our traditions, we've always done that. And we're thankful. We're thankful for those, uh, for those uh, elders that took the time to make sure that they passed that down. It's our job, the ones that are left there, it's our job to make sure that we care for the land, that we continue the dances, that we continue the roundhouse, that we continue to care for each other, that we continue to watch over one another. And that's why we're here. We're all here together to be able to do that with one another today. Carry this message, not from just here, but all the way across our lands to make sure that people understand why we're making this stand, what it's for, how important it is for them to know that this must stop today, that this must stop because it's only tearing our people apart, that we have to be open and we have to see the, the things, the things that people bring into our communities that try to tear us apart and make sure that we're strong enough to withstand and, and we're strong enough to make sure that we take those things and throw them out of our communities. So this is what's happening today and I ask you, I ask you in, in, in the name of, of you, co Factory, Creator, to watch over us and help us, help us today, help us get this message out. Watch over us, make sure that we get through this healthy, we do, that we get through this in a good way and that we're here all in a good way, not to create violence, not to create anything else, but just to create openness, humbleness. And that's what I ask you today. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Civil rights for Como people! Stop! Disenroll it! Stop this enrollment! Protect our Indian civil rights! Because of that. 